Hello. My name is Chris Butcher, and I'm an engineering lead here at Bungie Studios. We have a crack team of networking specialists here whose sole job is making sure Halo 3 runs great on Xbox Live. But you have to do your part. Set up your home network right. Because if that sucks, there's nothing we can do. To show you how to set up your network, I took a field trip into the woods of Western Washington State to the home of the Candlin family. Dave Candlin works at Bungie as a graphic designer, so I figured he'd have the perfect home setup. Dave said, great, we'll just be home relaxing with our six kids. Come by any time. Where's Riley? As it turns out, Dave and Marcy are just as good at setting up a home network as they are at managing their kids. Hey Dave, so show me what you got. So this is my office. Pretty cool, huh? Like any good nerd, Dave's got a whole collection of computers connected to his home network. It sounds great, but what happens when the family wants to use the internet and all Dave really wants to do is play some Halo? Guys, how much longer are you gonna be? Guys. 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 Rule number one, for the best Xbox Live experience, make sure you kick the rest of your family off your home network. Tell them where to go. Of course, it won't matter if your connection is too weak. Rule number two, get a good network connection. You need lots of bandwidth for playing games, both downstream and upstream bandwidth for receiving and sending data. Some connections are great for browsing the web, but they have no bandwidth for sending data. That's bad for gaming. You can't shoot people when they're shooting you. So what's the best type of internet connection? The fiber optic cable. But? It's kind of hard to find. What else? DSL. Problem? kind of cost a lot, and they don't pay me that much at Bungie. We've got to find someone who cares. What else? Cable modem. Which is what you have. Right. But what's the problem with that? A lot of neighbors sharing the same cable company. You said you were going to be off at 9 o'clock. Right, Dave. Last option? Dial-up, but you don't expect that to work, do you? All I'm saying is we tested it, and it works. But it isn't much fun. So from best to worst, here are the choices. Fiber optic cable, DSL, cable modem, or dial-up. Of course, if you subscribe to a crappy internet service provider that goes down frequently, none of this will matter. Rule number three, make sure you choose an ISP with a decent service record and a good helpline. Of course, paying your bill on time also helps. Hi, this is Helen, can I help you? Hello? Finally, the all-important question of your router. A lot of you have routers running your home networks, and if they aren't configured right, we can't help you. You might be able to log on to Xbox Live, but you won't be able to hook up with all the people you want to. Rule number four, try to get a router which has the Xbox Live compatible or certified for Windows Vista logo. If you can't find one, at least get one that supports Universal Plug and Play, or UPnP. To test whether your router's working, go to your Xbox dashboard and select Test Xbox Live Connection. Rule number five, you need your NAT type at the bottom to say open. If you have a wireless router, here's rule number six. Make sure you don't put it near other appliances like computer monitors or cordless phones. Anything using the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum will interfere. Rule number seven is about location. First of all, don't put your wireless router in a corner. Keep it away from metal objects like filing cabinets. Oh, and while you're keeping your router away from certain things... Here you go! Thank you! Okay, don't put it on the furniture, all right? Okay. Be careful what you put on it as well. Dad, Dad, what you doing? Oh, just checking the email, sweetie. Oh. Bye! See ya. A good place for it is up high on a bookcase. Yeah, it's good, though. So here they are. Seven rules of home networking. Kick everyone else off. Get the best network connection possible. Choose a decent ISP. Make sure you have a compatible router. Make sure your NAT type reads open. Observe the 2.4 gigahertz rule and pick a good location for your router. If you follow all these rules, you'll have so much fun, you'll be coming up with new and creative ways to spend more time with your Xbox. And you'll also be able to have an awesome time playing Halo 3 online with your family. Just try not to have too much fun. I said no more fighting! Thanks, Dave, for showing us how not to set up your home network. No worries, Chris. 
could have sworn Dave said he had six kids. No animals or Candlin family members were harmed in the making of this video segment, although a few egos were bruised. Do not attempt to make a sophisticated high-end instructional video like this at home. The warnings and advice contained in this video are intended solely for the purpose of helping Halo fans to set up their home network. If you still don't have any fun at Halo 3, it's your own damn fault. If on the other hand you become totally and permanently addicted and suddenly find yourself without job, car, home, wife, kids, or any life whatsoever outside the Halo universe, that's pretty much what we intended. Don't accept candy from strangers, don't run with scissors, and don't forget to finish the fight.